Okay, so this three uh, single phase motor ain't working. It's a capacitor to start one. It's uh, not making any noise whatsoever. So usually, when the capacitor's gone, the motor will still hum as if it's trying to turn, but it can't start rotation because the capacitor's gone. But anyway, I'm going to test the capacitor first, just because I'll show you how to do it. I've learned how to do it. And then I'll test the coil windings, the air windings. But obviously I can't insulation resistant to test them because all I've got is a multimeter. But we can do the continuity of them. Right, I'll do the capacitor first. Hard one handed. Okay, so that's the two wires of the capacitor. I'm going to test between them with a multimeter. There you go. Leads are connected. Switch it on. Eighteen point two microfarads. That's a twenty-five microfarad. So ten percent. Yeah, that's twenty-two minutes. So yeah, that's that's pretty much wearing out anyway. That capacitor is, but you know, affecting starting. I don't think anyway. But it's low, but that ain't the problem. So yeah, there you go. I'm connecting between the main live input and the neutral wire I'm getting no, res uh, no resistance reading, no ohms open circuit if I switch it over to the start the wire again I'm getting nothing but if I connect between both of them I get a reading there's something going wrong somewhere. So obviously there's a break in the winding somewhere. I'll get this motor now and we'll test to see what a good one looks like on the windings. So there you go, between the red and the black wires on a good motor, we get a 5.3. So that's the blue one. Yeah, it's six. It's a bit bigger because of the starter winding. I'll do both together. 